sunbathing child I have been sunbathing and if you guys haven't checked out my previous videos when I first started my YouTube channel how to make how to maintain your melon your melanin and how to increase the production of melanin those videos are number one right now on my YouTube channel go ahead and check them out you can see all the ingredients that I've been using and stuff like that it's all free I don't have the equipment for you know to start sending out the products and stuff like that because you don't have to go through a, a was it got a FDA approved or something like that so for me to come out with my skin line it's gonna take a little longer we're gonna wait till your girl is financially set for me to launch any of the product and to help you get your melanin popping again y'all y'all can see my new background you know I've been doing a little bit of photo shoot last week I had a photo shoot with my little sister <sighs> she's so cute I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video so make sure you stick around to see the photos I took of her you know your girl is a photographer now and she's doing good at least I think I'm doing good you know what I mean so uh, as you guys can see today I told you guys on my YouTube channel I wasn't gonna be a controversial like type of YouTube and I wasn't gonna talk about topics that a lot of people talk about but child oh my god okay it is inevitable to not not be involved in these conversations especially when it evol involves colorism uh, the racial tension around everybody and all this other stuff so I was going on, on YouTube today and just every social media outlet everybody talking about Haley Bailey who is one of the uh, Chloe and Haley um, uh, they're a group, group girl uh, singing group I guess uh, I don't know how you would say but they were discovered by Beyonce and you know the success took off and it's still flying and they are succeeding so Haley is um, she's actually casted on little mermaid and i know a lot of y'all back you know you guys i think i gave you guys a little bit of background where i'm originally from i'm from south sudan and i actually lived in kenya for almost 10 years i went to school there you know i did my middle school there as well so when i came here to the united states i was about 13 turning 13. so a little story that i want to tell y'all that i've known little mermaid and like Let's go back in time. I remember in my first grade, this one little girl, you know, we'll consider that like a rich girl, I would say. Her parents, you know, would buy her stuff and stuff like that. And she had this book of Little Mermaid. And I was so envious. Like, I wanted that book. I wanted to read it. She gets all the princessy books and stuff like that. And Little Mermaid was one of the little, um, one of the books that I encountered like fairy tale wise. Um, one of the little boys that had a crush on me, but we had like a hate and love kind of relationship. I don't even know. It's like a friendship. We can't call it a relationship because at that time you can't be in a relationship if you're in first grade. What? Not in an African household, right? But it was like, I hated him and I had a crush on him. So like, when I had a crush on him, he hated me. When I started to hate him, he has a crush on me. It's just weird. I don't know, okay? So, it was like a time where everybody, I think it was like close to Christmas, everybody switched gifts or whatever. And he bought me a Little Mermaid book. <laughs> so cute. His name was Jack, by the way. He bought me a Little Mermaid book and I was so like happy about that. It was like the sweetest thing ever. And all the other girls in class were jealous. Okay, they were jealous. And my trifling ass teacher, okay, took my book away because her, okay, so, this is a story get twisted. Her daughter was the girl with the uh, Little Mermaid book, so she was a trifling ass 
teacher. I still remember you. If I ever go back to Kenya, it's on. Um, it's on. Um. But anyway, guys, that's a little bit of the story behind how I start, how I knew about Little Mermaid and coming to America and all that stuff. Like honestly, I don't I don't see the problem of her being casted as a black girl or just you know because it's an imagine it's it's a fictional fictional character so I think it could be anybody right so can you imagine all the little girls uh, wearing Halloween costume the little black girl the little Hispanic girl the little white girl all of them get to dress up as little mermaid because they have a representation of them so I just don't understand like this petition over here this picture right here guys like they already have like almost 45 something thousand Four, is it 4,000 or something like that? I don't know. I'll just leave it right here so you guys can see it because I'm recording this and I'm not really like showing. But anyway, I will show you. They have a petition against it, which I don't understand. Like, and this is like uh, white people are like really outraged that she's being cast as a black girl, not, let alone a girl with locks. Okay, so look, I have locks, and if I was a little girl and a little mermaid. The Little Mermaid was uh, was also painted as a black girl with nice locks and stuff like that. That would have been like a character I look up to. Even though she was still white, it was still one of my favorite stories. So why can't we just build on imagination since it's like a... It's honestly a fictional character, meaning it can be anybody, right? But my only problem is that... In, in the uh, in, in entertainment industry, movie industry, like a lot of, there's been a lot of white characters that play black characters. And now let me tell you guys, especially Egyptian characters. Now, a lot of you guys don't really know that I'm actually what would be considered the, uh, the Nile tribe. I am from South Sudan and I am the people of Jiang. We were actually the original Egyptian. We were the native before the Arabs came in and the British and all that stuff. Uh, before we even uh, media got like it's all whitewashed. Like honestly, if you get down deep down to the history, that you know the Nile people, which is who I am. I'm the Dinka tribe, which was the tallest people. If you go back into the into the history, the hidden history of it, that's my people. We do still exist. We do. I have never been. I'm not mixed with anything. My parents are not mixed with anything. We still keep our dialect. We still keep our language. So Sudan, the word Sudan, the Arab people gave uh, gave that name to us because we were we were known as the people kissed by the sun. That's pretty much what Sudan is. People kissed by the sun. Our skin is so dark and stuff like that. Egypt, uh, the pyramids, like. Sudan is a hot ass place, so tell me how exactly is white people, how Egyptians are portrayed right now, how did they survive that heat, it's impossible. So let's not get into that history, but let y'all know like my people are the original Egyptians. So that is another story for another time, but it's, I just think it's hypocritical, uh, how'd you go? Yeah, hypocritical for them to get mad over a fictional character, but when you guys play real characters, real living characters of Egypt as portray them to be white and stuff like that. Y'all are silent. Y'all don't say nothing, but when it comes to a fictional character, okay, y'all like are crying out here, calling the uh, the Disney police, uh, all this, I just think it's ridiculous. So what I wanted to say is, we have a lot of delusional people out there and you know, my little sister have little uh, white friends and stuff like that, and it's gonna be so cute just seeing them uh, dressing up as Little Mermaid. You got Little Mermaid Black, you got Little Mermaid Asian, you got Little Mermaid Hispanic, you know, all flavors, because again, it's a fictional character, we can make it what we want. Let alone, let's not forget that there are, if we're talking about red hair, there are black people with red hair that are ginger. So representation can is really important. So I don't see why everybody is so riled out about it. If I would say keep that same energy when um, when they use white white char white people to play characters that of African or African descent or you know going back to the Egyptians. Y'all know that Egyptians were not white. 
you know that Egypt is a hot ass place, y'all could not just survive it. You know my people are from South Sudan, the Nile people, the Jing people, that's us. Okay, so let's get it straight. So let's not, I know how this is the portray in the Hollywood, but we let it, we let it slide, you know, because well, like, you know, it's movies. Anybody could be whatever they want, right? So I just don't understand why everybody is being angry. Anyway, I forgot to be sipping my little wine. And if you're wondering what wine I'm sipping right now, it's Pinot Noir, and it's by Williams Wright, okay? I don't know if y'all can see that. It's, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll try. But anyway, it's a 2017. It's pretty cheap, so I usually like the older wine. Uh, sort of like very smooth to drink, a little bit of dry, but still full body. That's my type of wine texture. This one honestly is not that. I got my lips on it. I'm not really a big fan of drinking Opinion York. But I'm more into is it Cabernet Sauvignon or something like that. That that wine. Look, I'm not a, a wine expert, but I do know how to drink the wine. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I had to say a little bit. I had to say you know a little bit of my piece so you guys understand out there that y'all are getting worked up for no reason. It is good that we are getting to have an actual pretty. Pretty, very beautiful young lady with natural long hair. You know, obviously it's not red, but you know, it's Hollywood. You can color her hair into any color that you want to. And Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid has red hair. And I think is, she's actually going to portray um, Little, Mer Little Mermaid really well. I think it's a good, it's a good change. So, Y'all don't be so salty, you know, celebrate, celebrate diversity, adversity, you know what I mean? Because it's just, we don't want to see that hip hypocrisy of y'all being quiet when we see y'all playing real, real life people with white, char with white characters, like black characters played by white people, you know, it just doesn't make sense, okay? But this is a fictional person, okay? And also the, some of the Disney Disney movies, like I will understand Pocahontas, yes, it cannot be played by a white person or a black person. Um, what's the other one? Mulan, okay, Mulan cannot be played by a black person or a white person because it, it's an, of an Asian, Asian descent, okay? Those type of movies cannot be played because those are stuck on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, characters that actually portray real life. Okay, like real characters that lived before. So Little Mermaid, it's a it's it's a woman fish under the water, under the water. Okay, so it's a, and some people actually end up even arguing that there is um, scientifically, really scientifically there is mermaid. Okay, you don't know what color they are. Okay, but. Let's let's go into the imaginative part because honestly like the books written a while back by Voyagers or whatever they say that mermaids were vicious creatures, they drown men. This is the stories of what mermaids are. But Disney took mermaid as sweet creatures and you know, because again it's imagination, right? Imagination. And from an imaginative imaginated character, why not imagine it as being black? That just Hey, I don't know why it boils up your blood like that. But anyway, I think I'm repeating myself so much. But we here for it. We here for it, y'all. We here for it, girl. You go on. Swim under the water, you know, with your natural hair, long locks. Swim under the water all you want. And on top of that, let's not forget that she has the most beautiful voice. Like, I can just imagine her singing all the the songs and stuff like that. It's, it's gonna be so wonderful. I'm excited, I can't wait to see it. You know, it's something, it's, 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 it's history to me. Like, I really think it's so awesome that we're actually gonna have little black girls also looking up to a character that looks like them. And it's still, little girls, when they are playing tea table and all this stuff with their friends, they use their imagination. They can be whoever they want. And this imaginative, uh, what about character, Little Mermaid, 
is a portrayal of what a little child would think like. Adults, y'all are doing the most right now, honestly. You guys are doing the most. Stop it. Y'all are doing the most. Because children, honestly, don't see color. They, I mean, they do see color, obviously, because they look different. Let me not say that. But they don't see the difference when another child's like, you put two little girls together or two little boys or whatever and put them in their dress are the same as little mermaids. Oh my god, you're a little mermaid. So you gotta look at it in the aspects of a child's eye and don't be so ignorant and be like, oh, I grew up a little mermaid, blah, blah, blah. She was white. It's, yeah, of course, because you imagine her to be white in your head or whatever because anyway, I'm just gonna go on too much. But y'all, that is just my little thoughts in my head what I, I thought about this and it's just I don't we're just gonna sit on this and just let them fight fight their little fire because I know there are some some of my white friends that are like yes they have a black little mermaid and this is awesome you know shout out to y'all that are standing up but y'all need to like get y'all little cousins though <laughs> you know what I mean but anyway guys um let me know in the comment section uh comment section below what your thoughts you know, if you hate what I'm saying, you can, you, you are more than allowed to say what you want to say. It's all good. Um, let me know if you wanna, if you disagree or agree that this is awesome that we're having a black Little Mermaid, um, actually Little Mermaid being played by a black character. So yeah. Anyway, this is your girl and Jer, and I really wanna. Be, I'm sorry. I really wanna go again. Go ahead and thank you guys for continuing to support my channel and continuing to show so much love even though i haven't been posting like maybe three weeks or so or more than that uh, because i'm going through the transition and like leaving my job and you know trying to find myself in general and yes so thank y'all i will talk to y'all later this is yogurt and jir and i'm out I'm really just a little